For this video, I rank every KSI song that has come out in recent years. This includes his albums and his singles. So, yeah, enjoy. So, first off, we have New Age. Now, to me, New Age is just that classic. New Age is just that classic opening. I, I, I quite like Randolph's bit. And through that, I gotta say it's all right. They present their they present their strengths. KSI's versus weaker than Randolph's just because like Randolph had the skill at the time to change it up because he he was he's much better at this point than KSI was. Next up, we got Beerus. I'm a big Dragon Ball fan, so realistically, like it'd be silly for me not to. I think it's a banger. Making an entry. Dry up, Dursley, you. <laughs> Fuck loans. In, in all fairness, I actually quite like champagne. Good, it's a good listen. I say it's all right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't vibe with it for some reason. I put a meh. Real name. I don't have to listen to this, nor do I want to. I think it's a stinker. Progressively gotten worse as KSI, Randolph, and Harley have gotten better with music. So I kind of have to put it in stinker. Slow motion is a banger me i feel as if that is like kind of a kind of on the cuffs of like lo-fi but has lyrics in it so it's not really lo-fi more so the fact that it's just it just it's just something to vibe to honestly red alert red alert is clearly the best song on this album in well in my personal opinion and also like to many other people is this is why red alert got like a, a big production music video because it was just one of the best songs on the album like i i, th I think it, uh, it's, it hasn't stood the test of time in comparison to slow motion and beerus because uh, i don't hear red alert play and being played as much but i still think it's a banger bow down long live my soldiers Nah, no, nah, nah, that wraps it up for me. I'm gonna put Bow Down and Stinker a lot with um, JMA. When this first came out, I was listening to it um, quite frequently because it was it, it just sounded cool. But now, but now that my music taste has slowly progressed out outside of the rap sort of area, I think Pull Up is kind of meh. Uh, what you been on? Uh, this this is where we get into the Dissimulation album. So this is the first track on Dissimulation. Um, this was heavily advertised. Like, the simulation was like, it's because he was going to go bold. So the kind of story behind how the simulation was so big um, was for that reason. And I'd like to think that the album wouldn't have been successful otherwise, because this album has quite a few mid songs and like one to two bangers. So let's, let's start, uh, not literal like tear bangers, but like on top of charts. But look at this, no, nothing's in Reloaded yet, but this may change um, when we're coming to it. So what you been on? Apparently people really like this. It, it, nah, it is the better version of the New Age opener. Cap with Offset. I did not know who Offset was. And that may sound crazy, but like I wasn't that into, into the scene of whatever Offset does. I, I thought this was meh at the very beginning and I'm glad to say that my opinions have not changed on it. Poppin, Lil Pump and Smoke Pup. I was one of the few people that really enjoy Poppin. KSI's best at high energized rapping. And Lil Pump may be a controversial feature and Smoke Pup de uh, definitely um, didn't have a good verse in comparison to Lil Pump and KSI in my personal opinion. But with that all being said, it stood the test of time and it's gone better and better for me. So I'm putting it in banger. Next up, we got Houdini, Feet Swarms, and Ty and Wayne. I'm just going to call him Wayne. Swarms and Wayne. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this was the first time where I heard, like, KSI rack differently um, in comparison to monotone or high intensity. He he put an accent on it, and this this is possibly his other strength if he's willing to develop it even more. However, I think Houdini is probably the lowest of his like switch up for accents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's all right. It's it's nothing spectacular. Um, I listened to this actually quite recently, but um, I think it's. 
I think it's meh. Wake up call? Yeah, I, I know the production of this video was crazy. Like, it was a great music video and a great idea, but the execution was just stinker levels. It was a stinker level song. Killer Killer. Now, this is actually going to be my first reloader because Iana's Lee's chorus just carries this song all the way up to reload it on its own. Domain, in comparison to now Madness, which is like a kind of a similar vibe, um, but instead Madness is just better in every way. It's all right. It's probably the lowest of all right. And I'm like that. I do love a bit of Dragon Ball references and I do love SX. So it's hard for me to say that this isn't a banger. Undefeated, if, in all fairness, I think, um, what was it? Uncontrollable. Uncontrollable is the better version of Undefeated. I put I put low all right though. I put uncontrollable in banger if it was here. Millions. It's it's weird because I've listened to this song more times than I thought I would. It's gotta be a meh though. Complicated is just a worse version of this. Hides. <laughs> That's a reference. It's meh. It's meh. Night to Remember. Um, I love SX uh, on this song. Randolph is alright. KSI was kind of crap. It was kind of crap. Um, but I say it's alright. Pop in Remix with, with Crypt. They basically took out Lil Pump and just replaced him with Crypt. I think Crypt has the better verse of Lil Pump, so personally I would put it higher. Just a little bit though. Lighter. Featuring Nathan, um, no, it's Nathan Dawn's song featuring KSI. Oof. Yeah, I, I can't really say I can't put this and reload it. Loose. I, I actually like this song more than I thought I would. And, and that's just purely on the fact that it's just a vibe. It's just a complete vibe. The moment, the moment is most definitely better than New Age and What You've Been On. So for that reason, it's going on top of all right. Number two, yeah, there's there, there's a lot of discussion on this, but for the fact that two verses out of the three were below average, I think I have to put it in there. Patience featuring Young Blood and Polo G. Polo G doesn't do much, but his one singing verse is pretty good. Young Blood is also pretty pretty solid. I like this song. I like listening to it, and then KSI's singing, of course from here was pretty good but it had room for improvement um i put i put patience in banger i think it's better than down like that i am no 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 i think i think you use all right i think you use all right yeah i think it's all right don't play and marie I, i'm gonna be honest when don't play first released i didn't listen to it i didn't listen to it initially i didn't listen to it until the full album came out. I have no clue why. I just, that's how I felt. But God, it's replayable as hell. I don't think it should be in Reloaded. However, the fact that I didn't listen to it on release is my bad. Because it is a good song. Really Love. I don't listen to this much, but I, it's definitely a good, it's definitely a high all right. Gang Gang. I love the chorus. That's really all I can say about this. I love the chorus. Yeah, we'll put it there. Rent Free. Um, yeah, it's, it's meh. Madness. This is just the better domain and in every certain way. I think Madness is up there. It's banger. It's banger worthy. I'm being very strict here, but you can you can tell um like my type of music. Not the strongest song on the album because I think we all know what that goes to. But silly, I think it's I think it's just under madness. Bugsy Malone does a, a brilliant a, a brilliant verse. Flash it. Oh yeah, it's this. Pull up, pull up, flash it. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, it's all right. No time featuring Lil Durk. Oh God, if if I didn't put this in Reloader, I would be crucified. Oh God, it is so good. L uh, let me play this for you guys. Oh. <laughs> KSI kills it on his verse. He kills it. And then Lil Durk is and Lil Durk is really good as well. But KSI with those vocal chords, he does the singing and it bro, it mixes so well with the beat. Bro, I feel like dancing whenever this comes on. 
And I don't like dancing. <laughs> no pressure. Give you a view that's ridiculous. So ridiculous. Make money's no problem. I get an excess. And pressure. They put it on me. Ah. The verse is okay. The chorus is okay. I think I have to put this in a right. Holiday. The replayability of this has to go, like, to the moon. I feel, I feel like if Holiday has to be in Reloaded just because of how many times you hear it. Bro, you don't expect to hear KSI on the radio, but then Holiday just, like, subverts all those expectations because Holiday is a completely clean song. Sleeping with the anime. I'm gonna be honest, KSI's verses are shit, but I don't know why. I like them. I like KSI's verse. I can acknowledge that they're bad, but then again, I just really like the song. I don't know why. And I have to put this on top, like, at the very top of All Right. I, I would put it in Banger, but I need to acknowledge the, the fact that KSI's verse is stunk on this. And then SX doing the chorus. Very good. Swerve. Uh, Swerve, is, Swerve is all right. Swerve is all right. It's, sh it's just a lot of chorus. It's, it's so much chorus to the point where I would rate it Banger if the chorus wasn't so fucking long and repetitive. It just felt like it had no flavour. But then the verses were good. A little bit of fun featuring Anne Marie. I think I prefer this to Don't Play. And once again, KSI's verses were meh, but I still love it for some reason. Know You. I just wanna get to know you. Hmm. I just wanna know your name. I got some things I'll show you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The reef, now money pile up. So many yeah, yeah. Um, No You's alright. I feel like it's a fairly average song. Smoke. Okay, I got I gotta play this just because like smoke, even if it's not going to be in reload it, it's very good. Been so many places. No it's like KSI's verse is alright, but then and, and it builds up. Builds up. Oh, oh. Ooh, it's like an intro song, bro. It reminds me of a fucking intro song. I, I have to put this on top of banger. It is the best banger. This, this bit is just so good. Oh. Rocket League song, Jesus. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Jimmy Neutron. I uh, fucking meh. Uh, <laughs> lose. This um is up there with No Time. I think I think it's better than No Time. Honestly, I, I don't know. It, it it just works so well. Locked out. This got a lot of hate, and I don't understand why because I love Locked Out. Um, I think it's I think it's there. It goes higher. I'm, I'm reorganizing as I go. But yeah. Uh, Locked out, very good. I, I don't understand why people don't like it so much. Um, not over yet. This has a lot of replayability as well, but I I don't know. I don't feel it as highly as some of the other tracks, but it's still good. It's still really good. Yeah, so H Heady 1 and 9s. It, this is just the rap version, and I feel like I don't prefer the rap version. So I'm going to put this in all right. Top of all right. It's it, it still has the same vibe as not over yet, so therefore it's re it's pretty good already. But but I don't prefer the rap version over the singing version as much. And now, here, ladies and gentlemen, we have the recent release of KSI's song "Summer Is Over." Now, I haven't listened to the full song, and I was saving it for this to do it. So this is me blind reacting to "Summer Is Over." In fact. Instead of just listening to it on Spotify, why don't we just watch the video since I haven't heard it yet? So I, I have I have to give my full like thoughts on it, especially because it's KSI's latest song. I haven't reacted to this fully and I saved it for this video specifically. So Alright. Okay. Living in a past life. Hey. Hey. You can tell KSI's got a bit better at better singing. Everything is tied I don't wanna live a lie. So how am I supposed to feel right? How am I supposed to get up on the feeling? I see crowds of millions there. All fucked up with their hands in the air. But they just a party like the summer down there. Okay, I gotta point out that that's a little bit of a pet peeve. Um you can you can see you can see this in the video. KSI doesn't appear on the camera. 
Or does it? I, I can't tell, but it doesn't look like it. And that's, that's kind of annoying. Ooh. This is really sick. This music video is sick. This, this actually is really good. I can't lie. This is actually so good. I do have a face cam, so you can't tell how I'm reacting, but I'm actually smiling. <laughs> Lyrically, he's improved as well, I can tell. It, it, it's... This pre chorus, or I would say hook. It's a hook. Very good. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. This is just, this is just holiday two, but I feel I like this more than holiday. Okay. I like how everyone else is in slow motion, symbolizing the fact that how sad he is, and it feels like eternity before time passes by because he's, you know, I'm assuming he's upset. Oh, Troy Roscoe or Troy Roscoe. However you say it. Yeah, great song. Great song. Final song of KSI's. I feel a final song of KSI's has to go in Reloader. Better than Holiday, I said. So it's going, it's higher than Holiday. Great pre-chorus, great chorus. The the verses, they, they had a, a lot of lyrics that I couldn't really like pick up immediately. But I feel like if I listen to it more, I will be able to pick up. But I can tell that he's lyrically improved. There's my tier list for um, all the latest KSI tracks. I feel as if I'm quite happy with this. And this is up for change very soon. This is all in order of how I feel about them. So Lose is my favourite song. And then Wake Up Cool featuring Trippy Red, <laughs> Trippy Red is <laughs> my least favourite. So yeah. I felt, I, I felt like I was fairly critical throughout this in the entirety of this but i could be wrong um hopefully you guys enjoyed i'm gonna close the video now um be sure to like and subscribe i'll see you all next time